Hey YouTube, it's Brandon with Brandon's Bushcraft. Back here with another video. Sorry it's been so long since I've done a video. It's been busy and all that stuff. So let's get into it. Today we're going to look at uh, an option that you may want to use for an extended stay Bushcraft camp stove. And we're also going to take a look at my new used Norland Axe. So right behind me is the stove I just mentioned. Solid steel construction. Welded all the way around. It works a Pretty much the same premise as the Dutch oven. Uh, you stick coals on the bottom and on top. There's a lip on top to prevent coals or the fire from falling out. And so the door slides straight up like that and totally open on the bottom and top. We've got a rack right here that you can take out for cooking larger things. I'll give you a close up in just a minute. And it does cook quite well. I've cooked all sorts of things in here for birds and pizza and cinnamon rolls, other breads, all sorts of stuff. I haven't burnt anything. And what I really like about it, as I said, it's solid steel construction. It's not gonna break. Be it rust a little bit, but you can always clean that up. And now let's get into the fun stuff. My brand new used Nor Norland Axe. Absolutely love this thing. Never had this high quality of an axe before. Take this off, give you a look at it. So when I got this axe, it was in really good condition. The only thing was it had a loose handle and no no sheath or mask. And so I had to fix those and that was definitely a fun project. So I got it nice and solid and made this guy. It's about 26 inches in overall length. I absolutely love it. Feels awesome in the hand. Balanced extremely well cuts like a dream. I really like the slim blade profile. Excellent for doing finer tasks and splitting wood. Super sharp. I'm just super impressed with the quality of this of this axe. So I'm going to give you a close up look real quick. Here it is. I'm going to try to get that slim profile show up in camera. I don't know if it will. Like that. But just the quality and craftsmanship of this axe is, I love them for sure. Handle in really good shape. And I, I will definitely have this for the rest of my life, unless I end up losing it or something, but I don't plan on doing that. So now I'm going to give you a close up look at the stove and this axe mask. So I'm going to grab the camera right here and give you a look start off with the stove. Let's set this down for just a second so I can get this off. It's kind of hard to do one handed. And so you can see, get some light in here. There's all sorts of room on the inside. And like I said, you can take that metal rack out right here so you can put larger things in there. And it's probably about I don't know, a foot wide. Not quite a foot tall. Maybe a foot tall, I don't know. But you can, if you wanted to, you could stick a turkey in there. And then just give you a look at this, this axe. Nice handle. And a lot of people make these sheaths, they use uh, buttons right here, or snaps. And I don't like that. It's gonna wear out. So I, I made this buckle apparatus to suit me better. And so there you have it YouTube. A look at an idea for an extended stay bushcraft stove. Solid steel box. Cook a turkey in it. And then the Norland Axe. I appreciate your views and like always the prepared mind is a living mind. Catch you on the next one.